The National Weather Service issued snow squall warnings on Sunday and Monday for parts of Utah. It's an extreme period of moderate to heavy snowfall, followed by gusty winds. The NWS says snow squalls result in reduced visibility and whiteout conditions. The snow squall gets its distinction from other snowstorms due to its much shorter life as they only typically last between 30 to 60 minutes but are still extremely intense. Yeah, very intense looking at those images. And Anthony, it sounds like we've got maybe some snow coming in overnight, but nothing like that, but maybe more by the weekend. Yeah, I think so. On Saturday, uh, that image right there, yeah, pretty intimidating, Janice. Almost looked like a wall cloud from some, uh, you know, severe weather event or something, but uh, that's something else. Uh, I do have to tell you that, uh, you know, I think we may actually get a coating of snow here in the overnight. It is possible that we could pick up as much as a half of an inch. I don't think everybody is going to get that much, but uh, just looking at this high resolution data and uh, just using the eye test across Lake Michigan into northern Illinois, I mean, it stands to reason that some of these flurries and snow showers may deposit a little bit more than the models have been suggesting. So we'll see about that. It doesn't take much, as you know, to cause uh, problems on roadways. We're not talking about some thick depth of snow overnight tonight, but just a dusting, a coating or so can make it slippery. So we'll see about it. Temperatures in the upper 20s, certainly cold enough now for anything that comes out of the sky to accumulate, particularly in an overnight period where you don't have any of the sun's radiation uh, coming through the clouds to some extent. That does play a role during the day, folks, especially when you're closer to the freezing mark. Even though it's cloudy, the sun's rays, they make it down. It can help to melt things off just a bit. 23 degrees at 7 a.m. Where's the uh, snow symbol there? Well, that is proper. The snow's going to be gone between, uh, or it occurs, I should say, between right now and about uh, 4 in the morning. You're probably getting some flurries along the lakeshore at the current time, but expanding in coverage a little bit more so, and then out of here by 7 a.m. In fact, there should be some weak spots in the clouds as we go forth. Take it to 35 degrees. Uh, a spell or two of partly sunny skies through the morning and early afternoon. That's kind of optimistic, but I do think we can achieve a touch of filtered sun before it clouds back over through the afternoon. The green colors on this chart indicative of an air mass that is not ridiculously cold here for late December. So we're back into the mid 30s tomorrow. I push the button and uh, this is at uh, Thursday at 3 p.m. So yes, 35 tomorrow. How about Friday going to about 42 on some southerly breezes that will warm us up. Kind of an odd scenario right before an area of low pressure that is going to come in here and drop a good amount of snow. It does appear on Saturday, a mid to late afternoon into especially the evening. There's going to be low pressure coming up from Kansas into Missouri. This is Saturday at 5 p.m. riding through south central Illinois into southern Indiana and south uh, central Ohio. That is a really sweet spot track for us to pick up snow accumulation of substance. Now the key factor here is that we're in the sweet spot of this snow band right now. This is still a couple days plus before we get the final verdict on the track. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. There can still be shifts in this storm track, but as it stands right now, taking a consensus of information, you're going to need that snow shovel and the snow plows looks like by uh, Sunday morning. That is for certain a little bit of a reprieve in the temperatures early next week after an Arctic push, by the way, behind that system for Sunday and Monday. Get to Tuesday and Wednesday, we're back into the 30s, but look at that off to the northwest, folks. Another round of Arctic air is going to come plowing in here later next week into that following weekend. So we got uh, perhaps the coldest surge that is to come about 7 to 10 days from now. Light snow overnight tonight, as we talked about. Biggest storm of the season on Saturday on track. Wind chills in the single digits on Sunday. As I mentioned, some of that colder air coming in behind that snow system, dropping us to 23 for a high, 26 on Monday. Wind chills down in the single digits. That 32 will be in the morning on Saturday as the system comes in and tugs down colder air from the northwest. Those numbers will be falling into the 20s with time. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It's really splotchy on the radar. A lot of this this evening has not been reaching the ground. There's a lot of dry air at the lower levels of the atmosphere, but eventually some of that moisture is going to overcome that and we will get flurries and light snow patches here into the overnight. Again, perhaps uh, enough to the extent that we can get a coating to a half of an inch of snow. The system is weak. Two disturbances, one coming out of Alaska, 
it dropping southward quickly. That'll phase with this system down in Southern California and follow that jet stream right across the country and bringing us this uh, rather strong system for Saturday. This little uh, area of low pressure tonight that brings the flurries and light snow, a coating of snow that's gone tomorrow morning. Little sunshine, as I mentioned, tomorrow filtered variety. We go overnight into Friday morning. Models trying to print a, a patch of drizzle uh, as we get into Friday. I guess that's a possibility with a fair amount of low clouds on Friday, uh, but it is Saturday morning into the afternoon. Thinking that there's going to be a little bit of a delayed arrival with this system, not the morning, but probably late afternoon. Snow develops again, low pressure to our southeast that brings down a counterclockwise circulation and colder air getting ingested into this system. Winds will be picking up, snow picking up as well and several inches right now thinking four to six inches. But I'll tell you what, we got to watch that closely because Janice and Aaron, it could be greater than that. I'll have more uh, details specifically on snow amounts tomorrow, but it's going cold, guys, Sunday into Monday. It's going to be a snowy start to yeah. the new year. Thanks, Anthony.